Hello, welcome to GP Tutorials. In this tutorial, let's see what is cost accounts and project expenses in Primavera. Cost accounts enable you to track activity costs and earn value throughout the project life cycle. And examples of expenses include facilities, travel, training, consulting, contracting, etc. In this tutorial, let's see in detail how to set up cost accounts and add project expenses. To create the cost account hierarchy, you need to go to this menu bar and click this enterprise and choose cost accounts. You can click this cost account ID so as to identify the hierarchic project component and uh, this cost account ID and name should be helping you to identify the project component such as engineering, automation, construction, documentation, hardware, automation and training, research etc. In the cost account description area provide an optional brief summary of the cost account. You can enter the enough description over here. And now let's see how to set up the default cost account for a project. For suppose I would like to select this project now and uh, you go to this project details, if you go to this de default tab here you can see the cost account. You can browse through this and select any of your cost account and you can uh, select this by double clicking this so that the particular cost account will be assigned to this acting as default for the particular project. You can edit, delete, copy and paste, cut any of these cost accounts by having these command bar tools. And this is all about the cost accounts for the, at the project level. Close. I'm opening this sample project now. Now let's see how to add the project expenses. Now after opening the project, I'm going to this menu bar and select click this project and choose the expenses and click on add and then select the activity that incurs the expense. Then click the select button so that this activity is being added with this new expansion expense site and if you click this general activity activity cost and description tabs and you can enter these expense details into detail information into these tabs respective tabs click the general tab then click the browse button over here and the under the expense category and choose the expense category field select the category you want to assign then click this select button so as to categorize this. Expense categories enable you to classify the type of cost and can be used to group, sort, filter and report the expense and cost information for your particular projects. Now go to this activity. Here you can see this accrual type. There are three types of accrual types. Start of activity. You need to select this to accrue the entire expenses on the date of the activity beginning. If you select the end of activity, you can accrue the entire expenses on the date the activity ends. If you select the uniform over activity, you can evenly distribute the expense over the course of activities duration. And then go to this costs tab. Type the number of units you expect to allocate here and the actual amount that has been spent and you can also mention the price per unit. This module calculates and displays the budget or plan cost of the selected expense in the budgeted or planned cost field. If you click this tick box, it will enable you to automatically calculate an expense cost based on the activities percentage completion. So always keep this mark so as to calculate the remaining actual units based on the percentage completion. In the description you can add the particular uh, here and to analyze it, after entering all the expenses into your cost account for the particular project you can uh, analyze your cost by running over the ready-made reports you go to these tools and reports you can select any of the report like for example I will select this one the cost I can do one report let's see if it for you this whereby you can compare the budgeted and the actual cost over here we need to enter all the details to get the exact perfection of here so comparing actual cost to budget is a simplistic approach to cost control determining performance using earn value is more effective rather measuring earn value involves three key, three key indicators plan value earn value and actual cost if you track these values over time you can see the past spending and schedule trends for the project together with the forecast of future costs. I hope you understood this uh, video tutorial of this cost accounts and present expenses. I hope you understood this video tutorial. Please do subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thank you.